Alrighty, I'm about to go ahead and get started here. Um, where we left off, we were just beaten Shadow, Shadow Rise and Shadow Ted. We went back home and got bitched at by Brunk the Jim. So. <laughs> We're going to pick up where we left off and see what the hell's going on now. You know, thinking about it, we finished that rescue and then the extra boss the day before it started the two days of raining. I'm not sure there's anything better for us, for, for me to do at this point other than go eat in the, the Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. <laughs> I don't know. The Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. That's what I'm about to... Especially with the, the discount today. Damn, they're expensive though. I'm gonna go for 10. That'll still leave me with... 139,000. Should I give a sale demonstration like the one I gave Risei Chen? I'm not sure how to say this. Is it. Yeah, 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 yeah! Is that, is that the laugh? Is that a laugh? 
Uh, just kidding, just kidding. Well, please take your time. <laughs> oh, God. That is something like all. <laughs> the dog's not out on a rainy day. Make a beef bowl challenge. That's what we're doing. Beef bowl. I'm not sure if this was in the original P4, but, um, I mean, yeah, you really can't do it much during rainy days. But this is pretty rewarding, because it, th those three stat boosts guaranteed every time for your 3,000. And I assume eventually you get high enough in those stats that you can eat the bowl and finish it for free and... I don't know what the hell to expect at that point. Welcome home. Hey, Nana Cole. Ooh, it's hospital day. Hospital day. Oh my god, Talon. <laughs> he expects you're quite demanding, sir. Yeah, I probably should have done Nanako, but <laughs> the hospital job is so goddamn interesting. <laughs> Oh God, Talon! I know, I know you expect everything. You, you know what else you, I expect? Because you expect everything, you're probably gonna fuss at me when I quit before ten o'clock. <laughs> Just cause I, I know, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is the devil. The devil. I mean, who doesn't want a checkup? I want to make sure that I'm healthy. That's why I go to the doctor. So I would do the same thing in the game because I just want, I want, I've been fighting shadows. I need to make sure I'm healthy. Hmm. 
It's it's auto forgiven because of Witcher Three. Uh, thank you, thank you, Witcher Three. <laughs> Hmm. What do you want to do today? Uh, this is going to be one of those quick days, yeah, because I'm not quite ready to rank up yet. But I'm going to do another beef bowl challenge, and I made my money back. That's a good thing, at least. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. I'm not even just. I'm not gonna waste time. I'm just gonna beat ball again. Well, we did finish those fights. Let me go make sure I turn in my skill cards and register my personas. Oh, there's another card on the ground. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Come to think of it, the last paper you found here belonged to Marie. Something's written on it in cute handwriting. Sifo, listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid. Unable to return, the little mermaid faded to foam. The little mermaid. This appears to be a poem. Her sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. Why? Did you read it? You read it, didn't you? I said no. No, it's not like that. It's, uh, it's, it's not a poem. Yeah. Yelling at the edge of the world that this is not a poem. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out. I, I... Stupid, I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Don't read my things. <laughs> Marie blushes furiously. It seemed that Marie was the author of the poem you just read. Why was it on the floor? I don't get it. Marie sulkily returns to her seat. Why would not always register my upgraded personas? I don't understand why it asks me if I'm sure. Beef bowl. Ah. Uh.
one of these days I'm gonna finish it. on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Yeah, it doesn't take time to harvest, so... I want delicious veggies too. <clears throat> I don't want bland veggies. I'm excited. Nobody wants bland veggies. <laughs> Veggie hype. <laughs> forced to do that. Rise has been rescued. Seems the killer was sport warded this time. Sworded. I mean, I have videos on YouTube, but it's just stuff from my stream. I'm not a, a YouTuber. Fog is covering the town. Who the hell is that? I mean, we saved the person that was on the TV. You can hear sirens in the distance. Did something happen? Yeah. It's from Chie. Did, did, did you hear yet? They found a dead body just outside the shopping district. I don't get it. I mean, we... We're all meeting at Juness. Come over right away. I'm sure that I'll rescue Rizu. It'd be best if you heard to Juness.
Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. <sighs> yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time... It was King Moron. Oh dear. So he's definitely not the killer. Holy shit. K King Moron? Um It's it's not I wouldn't say it's big. But it's sufficient for what you need to do. It's it's different. It's very different all nighter. That's one thing I can definitely say about it. You mean that King Moron, Senpai's homeroom teacher? Wh what? What on earth is going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? <clears throat> I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far, and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Damn straight! We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji-kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. Yosuke, you're gonna get hit in the mouth. Talking to him like that. What? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <sighs> I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right! Maybe Teddy knows something about this! Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. <clears throat> Yosuke's an ass a lot of times. <laughs> huh? There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? Oh, God. He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry, Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Oh, God. Please don't tell me. <laughs> Whoa! He's here! Ah! This really hits the spot! No. <laughs> what the? I mean, how'd you? It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. Yeah, <laughs> just what I wanted more, Teddy. Just the. You know, all the horrible repercussions that are going to come out of the fact that he's not just in the TV now. 
<laughs> like, how you doing, Celestial? It's good to see you back again. It's <laughs> in your eyes, give you a creep. They are huge and doll like, which is kind of creepy. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. So that's why. <laughs> Yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? I'm doing pretty good, Celestial. Um, now I haven't had a chance to cook the chicken chili. I've been eating all kind of curry noodles and stuff like that here lately. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone! That's why I came over here! But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. Well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? <sighs> What's going on? Hey, hey, I want to go somewhere. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan! It's for her! Oh, God. Uh, okay, it's just glasses. Never mind. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So I'm gonna fight alongside you with everything I got! Don't think of me as the same cute little teddy. Um, it, it definitely can be celestial. Just depends on how it's made. I'm an all-new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Today begins the new legend of Teddy! Wow, a new legend. Teddy has joined the group as a frontline fighter. That's interesting. Definitely be a strong asset in your battle against the shadows. People are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there, except for you, until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel, either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? For some reason, that seems like a good answer. And the honest answer is, 
Shit, hell if I know, I don't know. But they never intended to. It seems like one of those oddly introspective answers that's... It sounds smart. I'm going to sound smart. <laughs> they never intended to. So you're saying he wasn't like the other victims to begin with? But why? Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Oh, I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. Ugh, it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Do what? Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Have a little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Uh, can I... Can, can I feel it? No! Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear! I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan, and now I finally have an inside! Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, good job with that. Come on, can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore! It's too hot! I can't stand it! It's so hot! Whoa! What the? Ah, much better. No oh way! He's a person now. It's mm. like a weird ass Pinocchio mm. story. Mm. 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 Ah, now that hit the spot. <laughs> hey, Chie chan, Yuki chan. Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Teddy? Is that really you? Uh... Why does he keep sparkling and I keep hearing sparkle noises? Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Then don't, don't take the bottom part off. You need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's... Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like... He grew what? himself a body in there? The hell? What kind of creature would do that? I mean... What is he? <sighs> Teddy's the killer. Because that's just too weird. If you're doing some stuff like that, you're obviously the killer. <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? <laughs> of course the girl's in with Teddy. I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine.
Yeah, I don't know. Teddy doesn't understand how the world works, and he keeps talking about scoring. That could get that could get dangerous. I don't know. <laughs> Teddy, Chia is mine. Teddy, Teddy seems to disagree with you, Talon. It's finally the season for Topsicles again. Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Sorry we're late. How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. It is... Is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? That voice doesn't match the face or anything now, though. That's, that's bizarre to me. <laughs> Take that 2D girl over most 3D girls that you know. <laughs> I don't know, since he's doing the French thing, I'm going to respond with the French thing. Uh, don't encourage him. <laughs> I have to say, he totally blew my mind, but he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> oh, man. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Huh? What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is... Will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. Kanji's gonna whoop his ass before this game is over. And I'm gonna laugh. It ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> You'll oh, have to forgive, I Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well. <laughs> Did you just pay him money to not get your face smashed? Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow. You're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. <laughs> Charge? What? You put it on my 
my account? Ah, oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? That stuff was expensive, even for Juness. You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle. I'm broke. The motorcycle that's broken. <laughs> If you're already broke, a little more debt isn't going to make much of a difference. What? Come on, baby. Stop fighting over... Shut up! This is your fault, you know. You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Yo, Teddy, don't let it get you down. Let's go get some topsicles. <laughs> Stomping at each other ferociously. <laughs> ah, I had a feeling you'd come. You're. Ooh. Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Rise Kujikawa now? Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. Maybe it's just me, but... Hold My on. name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. That's not a, it's a boy's voice. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school, but in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. Well, the, the character was in that label of hat wearing boy, and it's definitely not. What would you say is the flavor on Polly? Sweet, salty, hot. But sweet. This Moraoka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Risei-chan! Are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. 
Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. That's interesting. <clears throat> I don't understand what's up with that character. That's an interesting choice of voice actor. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Ah, still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh, he's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um... I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Oh god. Huh? Oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute. Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are reset. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. <laughs> it sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Kanji's bullied her out. <laughs> oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, you don't have to take them, but... Well... Teddy gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to. When Risa joined you, what should you say when giving them to her? Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? Handed the glasses to Risa. These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. Without looking at any of her stats or anything, I'm just going to assume that she's a heavy on the magic side. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, alright? I do owe you my life, so, you know... Leave it, to, leave, leave it to Beaver, I don't know. Wow, I didn't realize you were so cool, Senpai. Oh, okay. This sure is yeah. a rough time to transfer I'm here, though. The coolest. <laughs> it 
kidnappings, King Moron's death. All that and exams are soon, too. Oh, exams. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. This is your special Yo, headquarters. how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. No one asked. We're all done talking already. Well, where's Teddy at? Let's go, senpai. Uh... When did you get so chipper? <laughs> Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well, I guess I'll take him home. You can take him home, Yosuke, and you can keep him. <laughs> Good evening. This is Nightline imagine News. living with that. Our top story for the night guy. concerns the latest developments in an I ongoing guess. story. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims... What's wrong? Was it... someone you know? He died? Nanako seems scared. Don't catch him. I'm all right. Nanako seems somewhat relieved. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's, where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. The news is livelier than usual. Dad won't be coming home again today. That's not even a good magic trick. I would... No. Do it again! Do it again! No, that doesn't work. Children aren't tantalized by the missing finger trick. Nobody... It moved! Hey, how did you do that? Tell me, tell me! Nanika seems to have cheered up. Yeah, but at five years old, I mean, at least I think I knew how to do the, the trick. I don't know. It's just it's the removing the finger trick. It's just horrible. <laughs> Good question.
Mention somewhere that Kanji's clothes can't be bought in Annaba. Ordering or something more crafty? I would definitely say something more crafty. Considering, you know, what we know about him for real and what his family does. I would definitely say something more crafty. This is voice by or Bailey. Sarah. It, it did sound kind of familiar, and I guess it does make sense. Thinking about Sarah now, it does make sense that it was voice of the same person. This place. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? I honestly don't know. Indeed. The fog clouding your path is thick. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? Honestly, not the really. The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. Now, your journey will soon reach its climax. And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. Four more is too strong, but Loki's too good. Not even I don't even know what Loki's Yo. capable of, but I've had other people come in and mention that character. Yo, Bart. Still can't believe it. Her homeroom teacher was killed. Couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you alright? Okay. Well, started getting depressed over something like this. We'll never catch the killer, huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah. This means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. Wonder who it'll be. I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Dora. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good morning. Ooh, new teacher. I like her better than King Moron already. <laughs> I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. <laughs> okay. Why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Close your eyes, everyone. Why, why do they do this? That should be enough. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Nori-chan. <laughs> oh, it must be tough for you. 
But that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person? <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? What's so great about an idol anyway, right, class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. Whoa. She just suddenly, like, <laughs> took a crazy, like, Crazy aggressive turn all of a sudden. I, what, what the hell? What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Rise's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. <laughs> he annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious, but the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the Midnight Channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Ugh. Finals are next week. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah, if by a while you mean all the time. Shut up! Like you've ever seen my scores! But Chie always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. Hey, hey! Why'd you tell him? My scores just... vary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Say, John, you too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that that crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Cause there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Huh. You sound like you speak from experience, Rise-chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Arrgh. I don't get this at all. Man, two victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. They're not going to leave any stones at school unturned. You know, to be honest, Somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now, 
I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what! Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake, too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. Oh, God. You! See, I thought it, for some reason, I thought it was going to be the new school homeroom teacher. I don't know, it just struck me. The voice does not match the character at all. There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why's that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? God is dead and they still call him King Moron. Yeah, that is kind of, um, kind of on the ultra disrespectful side, but... As to his name, I haven't been informed. Oh well. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge yet. But he isn't a student of your high school. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved, and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? All right, so why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. I felt I should at least let you know that. Hello, Calden. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? <sighs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus... We made a promise. Y Yosuke! A game. <laughs> that may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests. And we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case, either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. Uh... What was that about? He just said his piece and left? Hmm... He said they have a suspect. But is this really going to solve everything? Who knows? <laughs> oh god. Chie 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 top three. Like, best five rappers alive. Dylon, Dylon, 
Dylon, Dylon, and Dylon. Tipo's not even in this game, Kelden. We're not gonna act like there's same voice actors or anything. We're just not gonna acknowledge it. <laughs> it's gonna slap the greed off of. <laughs> oh god. Tifa, for some reason there's an alarm clock inside. I'm just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna leave the alarm clock in the refrigerator. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Tifa's not in this game at all. We're not gonna, no, we're not doing that. Hey, big bro. I bet I still don't have enough. Yeah. Musuke. Oh my god, oh my god. The movie I want to see is finally out. Dominator 2. Yeah, baby. But I hate going to... Okina all by myself, so if you go, call me up and we'll see it. Movie Yosuke wanted to watch is now being shown at the theater. Go to the movie theaters, perhaps you should invite Yosuke. Maybe. Maybe I will. Got a Jack Frost. I didn't even know I had anything to place on it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and watch the shopping program. And he never looks excited. Uh, gonna buy some things from my shopping program. I do not need a Tipo model for the shelf. Not what we need at all. Blessed hands. Forty thousand. I cannot see spending 40000 for a single accessory, even if it does make my healing better. That's nuts. I'm not... not doing it. No. Watch it, it's probably a game-breaking item. I've had a, had some good luck with a few things that I've bought from the TV though, but I, I'm not spending forty thousand on them. Accessory like that. Courage. 
can start with the ramen way. Because ramen's tasty. So let's read a book about it. <laughs> I don't even know. You overhear students talking. Final start next week. <sighs> Senpai, you look pretty down. It's not good for you, you know. Once they're over, summer vacation isn't far behind, right? Shut it, puny underclassman. I have to study for my college entrance exams. Once you're a third year student, you'll get a taste of what it's like to take tests all year. Someone's full of themselves in their college entrance exams. <laughs>
Alrighty. Another rainy day here. Not much I can do. Kind of thinking we should beef bowl challenge again. I don't need to do anything in the garden, it's raining. We should talk to him. Yeah, you can go to the toilet and it'll kind of give you hints about something you might want to do that day. Um, but they're not great. Actually, I think I'm going to... Yeah, we're not going to do the Mega Challenge. We're going to talk to him. Oh! It's you. Man, you must be bored if you're still hanging around here. Oh well, wanna talk? Seems the Dachi is slacking off, as usual. Your relationship with the Dachi isn't ready to advance yet. It's only rank two though. Yeah, he's only level two. <laughs> We've got to work on upping his. Good for you. That's the spirit. Adachi smiling mischievously. He went shopping with Adachi and talked about various things. Maybe your relationship is going to become closer soon. Bing, 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 bing. bing. That June S song. Welcome back. Yeah, Dodgy Social Link is him screwing off and not helping solve the case. You open the fridge. It's a Friday food inside. You can make one. I know the Nanako one, I still don't have the expression to do it, so this will give me an extra break tomorrow for a social link. So yes, yes we will. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make pudding. I decided to make the pudding. I made the base with an egg, milk, sugar and other ingredients. How should you give it some scent? Then, definitely not cologne. Definitely not cologne. Um... I don't know, vanilla ice cream. Maybe it's just because I'm hungry, but vanilla ice cream sounds good. <laughs> vanilla extract in the pudding. Oh, I'm going to pick vanilla ice cream. Pudding was great. I've got any major surprises. Pain lumpy pudding. Well, it's 
Too late for me to pick extract now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's an emergency. You can go force yourself under your umbrella. Thank you. Phew, thank you. Couldn't find my folding umbrella. It's odd because I always have one in my bag. Uh, did I use it when I was with Chie? Um. S -s Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Now I'm a little nervous. What if people start to talk? <laughs> Give it nine days. Yeah. It won't happen. You're right, we're classmates after all. <clears throat> kind of a letdown, though. Oh. Okay. See, I think I would have gotten scoffed at if I would have given the other answer. Just kidding. I just hope it stops raining by the time school gets out. We ate lumpy pudding together. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I don't know why she's laughing at me. This is a joke, right? It's fake food. <laughs> at least she found it funny, um, rather than just like threw up on me or something. Try to make better food next time. I'm not goddamn Iron Chef over here. Iron Chef Enaba. <laughs> Y'all seem really sad. I know it's tough. Still can't believe Mr. Morouko was taken from us. This faculty office is still in shock too. But we can't solve about it all day. Today we're gonna put the physical back in education. We're gonna play rugby. And don't even think about getting lazy because it's hot. If it's hot, why don't we take off these full length pants and long sleeve jackets? Jesus. It's hot, it's hot, but run. Keep running. Sweat. Then eat shaved ice. <laughs> Because the shaved ice you eat after exercise is the best. Brains freeze. Oh yeah. <laughs> you seem to be cool, Skibbin. Answer me while running. What is the medical term for brain freeze? Intercranial hypothermitis, neurocapillary constriction. Phenopalatine ganglion neurologia trigeminal nociception. What the hell? I can't even pronounce any of that. And I'm supposed to know the answer. Yeah, this is just. For some reason, I want to say trigeminal nociception. I have no clue. That's what we're picking. So. Thank you, Talon. That's very. That's a lot of help. I realize. I'm happy that there's not two correct answers. Because that would really throw me off. <laughs> I 
I have no goddamn clue. Trichuma and Nociception. The correct answer is Phenopalatine Gang. Was that even one of the answers before? I don't even know. I can't. These are not words. That's, somebody smashed their face on a keyboard over and over and came up with that. something cold, like shaved ice, it constricts the flesh around the trigeminal nerve. That's the nerve that tells your brain that your forehead hurts. So you think your forehead hurts. Alright, I can see you're all sweating hard. The more you sweat, the better the shaved ice will be when you're done. My answer was incorrect. choice but to wait until more progress is made in the investigation. Oh god. I'm not even talking to you, funky student, because I know you still don't have a new rhyme. Past the halfway point, huh? Wow. Most, but, but still far from all. Yeah, I would imagine I'm really far from getting all the content, but that's how it is. Especially if you're not going to use a guide to help you maximize your first playthrough. I heard this rumor that people have been seeing a ghost. They say an old woman wearing black appears on the river. What's funny is that she appears on holidays during the day. That's odd, isn't it? I'd like to see her. Could social link with Marie? game peaked for you a dungeon from here. Sometimes that happens with games. Just 
between design choices and just what goes on in the story sometimes. I find, honestly, I find a lot of games, a lot of RPGs, openings and all that are much more fascinating than the endings. But I guess it's also part of the whole fresh factor. Feeding you my Amber Seema. trying to figure out how I'm supposed to get liquor from the store for that guy. Oh, it is a new week, isn't it? It is. Final Fantasy VIII was one. I started it, never got close to finishing it. I just, for whatever reason, it just didn't, didn't do it for me at all. Now, from what I understand, I'm gonna make sure he's here. No, he's not even here now. He left the chat. But what I was gonna say, from what I understand, if you want to talk to somebody about Final Fantasy VIII, somebody who's an authority on the game and absolutely loved it, uh, talk to my buddy Keldon, that typically is in chat and he runs a stream as well. We host each other back and forth and all that. He, Final Fantasy VIII. His favorite game ever. And don't believe a word of what I just said. He hates it. <laughs> He hates that game. Like, it's one you could bring up and he, he just, uh, start fussing about it. That's the worst one. The worst Final Fantasy. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, although I can't say... I can't say that I don't necessarily disagree with him. Um, of all, the, I have not played all the Final Fantasies, so that's where I have to draw a line. But of all the ones I've played, it's been my the portion I could push myself through. It was my least favorite. But I don't have some massive hatred over it either.
got what, what? I spend time walking around with you today. The only relationship is going to become closer soon. Welcome back. Ten. Ten is one I definitely plan on playing. Um, and I've got the HD remaster. In fact, I got the PlayStation 4 HD remaster recently. Um, but I think I'm going to wait until Keldon does his Final Fantasy Month thing just so we don't end up playing it at the same time. It just doesn't seem productive. There will be one I definitely stream on, on game. Or definitely stream on game. Definitely play on stream. <laughs> uh, my favorite, and I guess I'm biased to the era to an extent, but my favorite's six. I would be biased. I mean, it was when I grew it was one of my introductions to JRPGs as well, so... Hey, welcome back. Ooh. Janitor Hospital Day. I need that $5,000. of a municipal hospital. Empty hospital room. You busily clean the recently vacated hospital room. I feel someone is watching you. Decided to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. Yeah, I would definitely agree with Talon. Six is the best one of the classics. And better than some of the newer ones. At the same time, while I say six is the best one of the classics, which is probably a fairly widely regarded opinion, I will also argue that I thought the 13 series, barring Lightning Return being a tedious nightmare, story-wise, I thought the 13 series was very good. Hmm, what do you want to do today? I feel like your relationship is going to become closer soon. So does, is the line here done? Like, there's no more interesting dialogue? Because it seems to be pretty bland at this point. Thirteen, you know, thirteen was very linear. Um, Talent. I would say if I had to rank them, it would be thirteen two, thirteen, thirteen three, as far as best to worst. Um, I like thirteen two a lot, although it was very confusing at first with resetting timelines and alternate versions of timelines and all that nonsense. Lightning returns was. I like the story, but the gameplay was it was it was a tedious nightmare. And I you can watch my VODs of it and you can tell that I tried really hard to like it. And by the end of the game I finally broke and was like, okay, I've tried to defend this and blah blah blah. Then it must have slowed down. I thought I was ready to level with her. I'm sure you're all feeling anxious knowing your homeroom teacher is deceased. Well, to be honest, us teachers are kind of afraid ourselves. 
Goldheart's still on the loose. But there's no sense in wasting time moaning about it. Let's get to work. Today, we'll talk about Kobo, Daishi, or Kuakai. First, look at this kanji. Hey, Osoi chan. Isn't that a misprint in the textbook? It's supposed to be that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Good eye, but no. This is the wrong kanji, but the book is supposed to print it this way. It's actually quoted. Hmm. Archie, quit staring at the puppet and pay attention to the book. Then why do you have a puppet on your hand if you don't want people to stare at it? That's distracting. They made us wear uniforms starting halfway through my high school years because people having their own clothes was too distracting. But he gets to wear a damn puppet on his hand and then tell people not to look at the puppet. Okay, Mr. Hat. Famous Iron Era monk famously used the wrong version of Kuakai? Kuakai. That's what he said earlier. Gave the answer you think is correct. Yep, that's right. It was Kuakai. You were listening after all. An old saying. Even Kobo made mistakes in writing. Kobo is another name for Kuakai. And this was the mistake he made. This happens when he wrote or wrote the name Adamemnon on the frame of the Outen Gates in the city of Kyo. But it wasn't until after they put the frame up that he noticed that he missed the dot on top of the whatever character. Instead of taking the entire thing down to redo it, he added the dot by throwing his calligraphy, calligraphy brush at the gate. By the way, my wife made this doll for me by hand. Don't you think she did a good job making it look like me? You know, I, I don't know if I necessarily, and, and it's hard to necessarily judge what you mean by saying that 3 was an exercise in trying to overtell a story. I was fine with the story in 3. The way they made you go about getting through the game, though, was just, it, it was tedious. It felt like going to work. 